Hi, this is Robert Troop. Today on Hunter Classic, we're on White Rhyme Ridge and we're going polar bear hunting. That's right, I'm making a polar bear hunting guide for all those people that want to know how to hunt them. And it's pretty simple, easy to follow. It's 11 a.m. We're at Danforth's Refuge, that's the outpost name, and I'm using a 340 weather, but you can use anything that's ethical for hunting polar bears during this guide. Let's look at location and how we're going to find them. Here is the map. Right, on the left, Danforth's Refuge, there we go. I start at 11 a.m. and it's mainly for visibility reasons, so it's easier to see your prey. Now we call this a scorpion's tail because it looks like it, a lot of people, you know I mean, that's what they've named it, so you can see why it is in the shape of that. But basically we're gonna walk all the way down the shore where the ice rafts are. Now on the ice rafts is where the polar bear are most of the time when you hunt in this area. So generally I will hunt 30 minutes to an hour, check the ice rafts, kill a few, and then that's hunt over. You can hunt for as long as you want, but that's what I generally do. Sometimes the polar bear are right at the start, right near the outpost, and then sometimes they're in the middle or right at the end. So you never know, it's just up to the hunting gods where you find them. But this sort of location and marking is what you want to do, the route. So I was saying you will find some polar bear in land, but mostly out there on the ice wraps. So I'd concentrate your time on this sort of route we're looking at. So there we go, that's the end of the route. Let's move on to what we're gonna to use to hunt them. Now I'm using the 340 Weatherby. It's a really powerful, big gun. I like it for polar bear especially. So that's what we're using today for rifle wise. You can use anything that's ethical. There's the ammo and that's the scope we're gonna be using. A lot of people ask what that scope is. There you go. It's a three by nine by 40 millimeter. I've also got a snake bite on in case we bow some. Polar bears do like to charge you, so the bow can actually be quite useful if you get them to charge and a lot of the time they will charge you if you get close enough. Clothing wise, because of white rhyme's cold it can kill you after about 15 minutes if you haven't got the right clothing on. I've got the arctic stuff on at the moment, there is different clothes you can use. Now if you haven't got the GMS or the EMS to buy clothing, don't worry. The Hunter Classic has your cupboard. You can get free winter clothing, which is blue. There you go. It's a basic Arctic clothing, you know, because it's blue. So you can get that in store for nothing. Um, so if you're a new player, try that out. And there's also this clothing. But the blue stuff, the blue Arctic, is free. And that will protect you from the elements. And you do need to make sure you stay warm on White Rhyme because it's very cold and it will kill you and affect your hunting. If you haven't got the right clothing on you'll notice it will start with little like frost snow pieces on the edge of your screens and then gradually you'll get worse start shivering and it affects your aim and you will eventually die in game so make sure you've got all the clothing on all parts of your body that's applicable to white rhyme region to keep you warm so we've covered what we're going to use to hunt them we've got the right clothing on so we're warm enough now it's just about location. So we're just gonna get the binoculars out, the binoculars, the binos out, and uh, look on the uh, rafts. And hopefully we we'll see a few popping up out the snow. Now sometimes, because it's all white, it can be a bit uh, overbearing on the sensors, your eyes. So sometimes you'll look and you'll swear there's nothing there. Just keep checking the places you've looked because after a little while hunting, it all becomes white and the sort of same and you swear you've looked there and then you look back again and like where's that coming from <laughs> but it is common because it's all white so just look left and right and just keep scanning every 20 or 30 seconds also the polar bears do dive in the water and come back out so we just checked he might have just come back up or she might have just come back up out of the water and then gone to a location we've just checked so just keep checking back and forth along the ice rafts How's your hunting been going this week? For the Hunter Classic or the Hunter Cola, while well, drop it in the comments, I'd love to hear about it. If you want any Hunter Classic guys making, drop that in the comments and I'll try and make it happen. A lot of people do drop in the comments, oh, could you do this, could you do that? And I do get around to making them all. That is the plan. So we've got our first polar bear inside. Yippee. 
I went too far, like I say. Um, sometimes at the start, sometimes at the middle or end. But a good thing to do is, like I've just done there, because it, everything's white and the polar bit is white, is put a little marker down so you don't lose where they are. It's also good when you shoot one to do that, because once they're lying down on these rafts, it can be really hard to find them, the body. Now, I'm not too worried about watching it too much because they just basically go back and forth, dive under the ice. What you've got to watch out for though is sometimes one might be sneaky and pop up out of these rafts near you and attack you because they will kill you if they get close. And I have had it happen to me before. So just keep checking around. There's another one actually. That looks like a bigger one. Now you get males and females. The one on the right is a big male. What is this one? This is a female. Ideally you want big male polar bear for trophy polar bear. A big scoring trophy polar bear is about 30. So anything over that is really big for a polar bear. Now what I want to talk to you about is not only just the danger from the polar bears on White Rhine Ridge and the cold, there's the water. In between these ice rafts and this lovely inviting turquoise blue water, you will meet a death. So do not fall in between these ice rafts if you can help it. Now the thing is, if you shoot polar bear on the ice rafts, it means you've got to traverse across them. So pick your, your path very carefully. You can hop between certain little gaps, but don't try and uh, take on too much or go too big because you'll end up in the water and you'll be back at an outpost or your tent. So we're going to take this one here. Get the 340 Weatherby. It is a really powerful rifle. I do love it for big species and the polar bear is one of them you little rat <laughs> well it's not a rat it's a polar bear but we could use that rock apps here for a bit of extra elevation if we sit on it but it's just slipped into the ice into the water I do love polar bears there's something about them I put them right up there with like big sharks uh, tigers lions and stuff there is something that's absolutely beautiful about them but something also absolutely terrifying about them when you see documentaries on them and how powerful and big and like I say they, they encompass everything but they are amazing to look at I wouldn't like to be like close to one <laughs> he's just gone off over this ridge so we're catching up don't worry about running um, too much on the ice rush imagine they're like ultra alpha sort of I mean beasts they're not too shocked they do run about a bit but then they'll calm down so you, you don't have to worry too much about spooking them too much right there he is so we have spooked it but don't worry about that too much it'll just run about a bit on the ice wraps and then uh, once it settles down we're just going to nail it with the 340 it's just going to run about a little bit but it won't go too far. Other animals, I wouldn't advise it, but because of how the polar bear are on the ice rafts, they'll just run around in front of you and then you can nail them. The only problem is if they dive into the water um, and they come up in a different location, but generally they just go down and they come back up like you can just see in front of me. So it's not too bad. So we've got a nice location to shoot him. It's just a case of waiting for him to pop back up. As you can see, stop sprinting about. I think he just smelled me. <laughs> Did you see his nose go up? Smell this. <laughs> so there's our male polar bear, Dan. We have got a female on our left somewhere. As I said, they blend into the icy background so well always just check around because sometimes there's two or three in the same vicinity or one's popped up that you didn't see before and it might be a bigger one than you've seen uh, previously or haven't seen before so there's a female now what we've got to do is we've got to navigate across this ice it's like a little uh, little platform game trying to get to it and there is big chunks of ice missing here so we've just got to find a way to get across Sort of like a mini game in itself. Can't cross it, so we're going to have to go round to the right. 
What would you like next added to the Hunter Classic if they add new content, missions, reserves, animals? Drop that in the comments. I'd love to hear about it. Or maybe new weapons. There's so much things that could be added and so many people are playing the Hunter Classic at the minute. If you're a person thinking about playing the Hunter Classic for the first time, give it a go. It's free to play on Steam. You've got nothing to lose. You basically get money by doing missions and shooting animals and that buys you guns, items, equipment in game. So basically you play, hunt animals and that pays for your way for nothing. So give it a try. Do you know what I mean? It's a great game and a lot of people play it and I still think there's a lot of things that could come for it. Um, so give it a go. It is really good fun. And look at this map. I think this is one of the actual most underrated, prettiest maps in the Hunter Classics. Absolutely stunning. I do love the colours, the turquoises, the whites, different varying colours of blues. It's such a nice map, white rhyme. But it's often, a lot of people don't go on it. And I'll tell you why. It's because it can actually feel cold. And that's brilliant if you think about it. A video game, in, but you can actually sort of feel it. Uh, that's actually <laughs> really authentic. And I do like how detailed it is. And that's where we shot the polar bit. Not too far from Danforth's refuge, the outpost. Didn't take us too long. And like I say, I aim to make these hunting guides as simple as possible, and so they work. Also, while I'm here, polar bears have got missions. So do those, get three GMS, and you get a lot of GMS from these missions. I do a lot of missions in the Hunter Classic as well, video wise. So if you're struggling with one of them and you don't know how to do it or you'd like a guide on whatever missions drop that in the comments i'll try and make that happen what i've also been doing this week is kind of the goose missions in between doing polar bear guides and uh, i'm on the very last one which i've got to get with a long boat so i may do that next if you want to see it like i say if you want to see any missions in particular done drop it in the comments i'll try and make that happen so here's our male polar bear what's going to score 28.3 that's quite a nice male I'm not going to put him in my lodge because I've got a 30 plus one already in there. But look at him, he looks quite grumpy, he's not happy about it. But I'm so happy to get one. So today we've been doing a polar bear hunting guide on Hunt Classic. I hope this helps out everyone that's not sure how to hunt polar bears or just wanted some extra knowledge about them. Let me know what you think about it. If you want to know anything about the Hunt Classic, drop it in the comments. I'll try and help you. I'm Ron McTube. Please subscribe to some YouTube channels. Hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching. Bye bye.